I'll be showing you how to prepare the illustrations that you download online and prepare them in Illustrator and import them into Adobe Animate for animation. Now, uh, the software that I like to use or the website that I like to use is Freepik because it has a lot of assets that you could um, use for your project. So let's search for a word, so city. And then for your filtering, make sure that you choose vectors and the license should be free. So search for any illustration that you like and make sure the ones that you have chosen go well with each other. So let's say this design, it's flat, it's more minimal, would never go well with this design because it's more, let's say complex, it has more details. So they won't go well with each other. Also the color palette is way off. Uh, this one, for example, would never go with this one because it's too like 3D-ish. It looks like a game, so it doesn't go with this one. Um, so let's search for one. Now I already have my assets. Um, so let's say if you like this one, you're going to click download and then it's going to be saved into your downloads folder. Now I already saved and downloaded the folders. Um, we're going to work with the first illustration and it's basically this one. So whenever you're downloading from the website, you're going to, it's going to download a folder for you. And in this folder, you're going to have, um, a number of file types. So for this one, for example, it has the JPEG, AI, and EPS. If you don't have AI, which is the Illustrator file, you could just go to the EPS, open with Adobe Illustrator. But since we have it, I could double click. And now this is my file. And what's good about this folder is that everything is broken down. The layers are prepared for you. So if I go through the layers, I have the sign in one layer, the leaves in one layer. We don't want the leaves, so I'll delete that. So delete the layer. Um, and we have the floor, the buildings, and we also have uh, the buildings and the clouds. And we have some uh, like st st dots in this layer, so I'll just delete this. And just to make this more easy for me to animate later on, I'm going to cut the clouds. So Command X, I'm going to create a new layer and I'll paste it under the background. So Command V X. So now it's good. So when I'm going to be putting this in Adobe Animate, I could animate the clouds move in the scene. So it's going to be a nice thing that we could do. Um, now let's say if you didn't like a color, like, like let's say the sign, I don't like that it's yellow. I want to change it to kind of like a dark shade. So click on the object. If you see the color that you don't want, just sh let's say change make it darker okay once you're happy you go back so to, to edit this I double clicked on the shape and now I'm inside of the shape layer and it's kind of like working with symbols um, and I could go back to the main scene now I could copy elements so command C to copy um, I could delete and I could also rotate so if you right click you can cut and copy and paste you can transform to rotate and flip and so on. So there's lots of possibilities that you can do. Now, let's say for this file, I also want to add people into the scene. So because I searched in Freepik, I found this illustration. So let me just show it to you. So I have these people and I want to add them to the scene that I have prepared. So again, I'm going to click AI for Illustrator. And I'm going to select this guy with the bicycle so cut I'm gonna go to this folder I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna paste the cycle this driver and I'll put the layer under the sign because realistically if it's gonna drive he sh the sign should be in front okay I'll put them here and I'll name him driver okay could also add another character so let's say this guy who's holding a copy coffee cup create a new layer and I'll paste him here and he's like walking on the sidewalk walking okay so once you're happy with the design and you're happy with everything you're gonna save this and there are a number of ways to save in Adobe Illustrator but for our project we only want it to be Adobe Illustrator so I'll just save as in the desktop so then I don't search for this desktop 
a street and I'll save okay when you open Adobe Animate, uh, create a new file and we're going to make the width 1920 and the height 1080. So this should be the dimensions of your project. Frame rate 24, platform type, action script 3.0. Create, just zoom out. Now to import, drag and import our uh, Adobe Illustrator file into the stage. Uh, animate layers, select all layers, and import. So when you import, all the layers are going to be um, where they were positioned in the Adobe Illustrator file. Select everything, I'll just select here, and I'll select the free transform tool, and we're going to scale this up to match our scene. Notice whenever you're scaling vectors, it preserves the quality because it's a vector file. If it was an image and I scaled it up, it is going to be pixelated. But since we're working with vectors, this issue does not happen. This project file was much easy because the layers were all done um, separately. If you have an illustration, so let's say I have this character, AI. Now this character, you'll notice that everything is combined. So we have the objects all in one layer. And for my project, I only want, let's say, the smiling uh, face. So what I'm going to do is um, cut, cut the shape of the head, and I'll select everything and I'll delete. Then I'm going to paste my guy here, scale him up, scale him up slightly. Okay. Um, and break up the elements into layers. So I would create a new layer for the eyes, a new layer for the mouth, um, a new layer for the brows. And I'll just kind of separate everything so then um, it makes things easier for me to animate later on. So select the object. Uh, ungroup so then it's easy for you to break up the things so currently this is like in a in a group file again oops right click ungroup now notice that the face face here is in a group again ungroup now everything is separated so command x to copy the eyes and i'll paste them into the eyes layer again the mouth command x and the mouth, paste it. Brows, you could put them each in a separate layer, it's up to you. Brows. So now it's kind of prepared for me. I'll just delete the layers that I don't need. Um, yeah. And then when you import to Adobe Animate, it is going to be the same. All the layers will be the same. It's going to be easier for you to, to work with later on.